the Balanced Scorecard provides a multi-dimensional framework of performance measures for strategic control, developed as a way of judging companies on their long-term performance. Designed by Kaplan and Norton, it's a framework of performance management for strategic control of an organization. It looks at the business from four important perspectives. The financial perspective, the customer perspective, internal business process perspective, and innovation and learning perspective. The financial perspective. Track the organization's financial requirements and performance. How does the organization look to its shareholders? The customer perspective. Measure your customer satisfaction and their performance requirements with regards to the organization's product or service. How does the organization look to customers? The internal business process perspective. What are the critical success factors for an organization? What must it excel at? The innovation and learning perspective. Focus is on how an organization trains its employees, how it gains and captures knowledge, and how to maintain a competitive edge in the market. How can an organization continue to improve and create value? For each of these perspectives, an organization should identify a series of critical success factors that are in line with the overall strategic objectives and mission of the organization, and establish key performance indicators to measure their achievement. Some examples of balanced scorecard factors are Finance, return on investment, return on capital employed, cash flow. Customer, customer satisfaction rating, market share, customer retention rate, sales growth. Internal business processes, process bottlenecks, process automation, product cycle time, cost per unit. With mass production, low cost is very important. Percentage reworks. Learning and growth, employee turnover, percentage of income from new products, staff training and learning opportunities, qualifications gained, new products launched and patents filed. The Balanced Scorecard provides a balanced view through its use of a mixture of financial and non-financial performance indicators, looking at internal and external information and linking long-term and short-term objectives in order to achieve an organization's overall strategy and mission. Developed by Kaplan and Norton to overcome the problems of organizations' sole reliance on financial performance measures to manage businesses. After strategies are set, there is a four-step process to implementing a balanced scorecard. Step 1. Strategies need to be clear and defined, as this is what forms the basis of the balanced scorecard. Step 2. Appropriate key performance measurements then need to be chosen. These should be aligned to the organization's strategy and to each other. Relationships between the measures chosen should be understood. Step 3. Define and refine. Management reports should be produced regularly and measurements used should be periodically refined. Step 4. Goal congruence between employees and the scorecard. Rewards should be linked to its measurement. An organization should avoid using too many measurements as this may demotivate employees. Kaplan and Norton developed the method of strategy mapping in order to make the implementation of the scorecard more successful. Step 1. Identify the overriding objective of the organization. Step 2. Determine the main way an organization creates value given its overriding objective. Step 3. Identify financial strategies to support this objective. Step 4. Clarify customer oriented strategies supporting overall strategy. Step 5. Identify how internal processes will support strategies. And Step 6. Identify skills and competencies needed to support strategies. The benefits of the performance scorecard is that financial and non-financial performance measures are included. Performance measurement is linked to corporate strategy. Measures include internal and externally focused measurements. All important factors, no matter how hard they are to measure, are included. Trade-offs between different dimensions of performance are shown. And a balanced scorecard shows how measures motivate managers and employees. Things to consider when implementing a balanced scorecard are Non-financial information is difficult to record and process due to its qualitative nature. An organization should avoid using too many measurements so as to avoid information overload. Measurements should be carefully chosen to reduce potential conflicts between measurements. 
and to ensure their alignment to the strategy and mission of the organisation. Poor communication to employees of the balance scorecard or poor linking of rewards to the balance scorecard results can produce poorer results as managers are not motivated to adopt the balance scorecard approach. Lack of commitment from senior management. This will inevitably lead to the failure of the balance scorecard and the cost involved in setting up and implementing a balance scorecard can be high. Thank you.